Welcome back to the channel, I'm OP, and in today's episode, we will be going over some of the best highlights between JDG and NIP during the upper bracket round two phase of the LPL 2024 spring playoffs. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. So, Flandre immediately gets onto the wave, wants to try and thin out as many minions as physically possible, or in fact, no, just trying to stack that wave so it pushes in towards him, but Juo now gets an opportunity to just find that route for free. Hook lands on in, good damage onto Flandre. Don't anticipate a kill at this point, but massive damage, and Flandre now going to be on the struggle bus. And Kanadi yeah. invading his own jungle, or if they try to prevent him from walking forward, doesn't seem like they're going to do it, but this, this sets up a dive. Shanji might get dived, but he did get the first CS of any top laner this game. Got a second one as well. Cannon is there. Shanji is going to go down for first blood and missing walks away with it as well. Rookie and Yagao trading heavily in the mid lane as well. As uh, Flandre still not a single CS. It's still going to be traded for a dive at the top side. <laughs> man, it is rough being Flandre. I mean, again, at least, at least he hasn't gone down. He hasn't given kill gold over like a JDG were, were able to pick up. But look, now with, with Rookie winning start in mid lane, having two lanes of Pryo that they'll be able to play with, and that'll start being more impactful, especially once we get neutral objectives spawning on the map, but junglers are running into each other. They certainly are. Aki versus Kanabi. Aki winning it out so far. Kanabi getting real low, and Shanji's here to help out as well. Kanabi, no flash after the dive, and it's a solo kill for Aki. Huge going over to Aki. I mean, it seems like Kanabi not expecting Aki to be in his bot side jungle, uh, ignoring the camps in his top side even still. Giving him that window where he's able to find the oh. solo kill. <laughs> Yagao just about gets away with his life. The Scorch nearly finishing him off. Sub 20 HP on that play. Rookie's flash now down though. Does mean he could be punished by Kanavi. Right now, both junglers are in the area. Actually, we have both three man squads being around mid. NIP just trying to make sure that Rookie's going to be able to push this one out. You could start moving up for that top side no way, so, uh, this this feels nostalgic to me the 2v1 lanes on both opposite sides of the map like this used to happen every game and like i mean my memory's no good for which season's which but it's like season four or something a long long time ago you see this all the time and now we're back to that once again as kanavi wants to set up a dive onto shanji the shield is there but it's not going to be enough missing half his tank once again <laughs> so low but he gets away with it and let's remember NIP have opted into this lane swap. NIP have done this lane swap before and have practiced this, but it's actually JDG playing it. They're trying to finish this one off. Shanji has got back into that bottom side. I don't know if he can defend this tower or not. The minion wave should be cleared here. So Ruler can't finish the job, but it means Photic will finish off the first tower. Yeah, so going to be a nice bit of a gold injection there for being able to get that one. But still, we expect JDG to be able to finish it off now. And now this is where it's going to be a little bit interesting with you'd expect uh bot lane duos either swapping sides or i wonder if they're gonna just end up lane allocating towards mid yeah. and start playing off these timers i mean won't have dragon for a few more minutes we're getting close to sixes where which is where jdg can really start proactively pushing into enemy jungle kanavi getting his now but when missing it's the enchanted crystal arrow will really be huge they're gonna completely deny this one jdg might be able to turn it into an advantageous fight they're going to try and TP for coming on through. Aki flashes to safety. Juo hooks in just to deny the engages. Shanji is 1v1ing Flandre on the bottom side of the fight. Rookie has moved in, has that wall available. It's, wait a second, missing. Did he hit the blast cone there? Knockback comes on through. Shanji still zoning as Juo gets low, and Aki has to dive in to save his support. Voting over the wall, but he can't really get any damage down. And Aki will fall. Flandre Ooh. flashes the rocket. JDG just about get ahead for JDG to punish you if you misstep. Kanavi moves in <laughs> and just steals that one away. Aki, totally none the wiser, unfortunately. And uh, this is looking a little bit like the mid game the TFs played against them, right? Just constantly poking and prodding your head into enemy jungle with the prios that you have, stealing away those camps and just maintaining that pressure and gold lead. Seismic oh. shove. It's not Kanavi picking, it's Kanavi getting picked. Nice flick back from Rookie and the follow-up from the rest of the team as well. NIP now with advantage on the map just as Drake comes up. This will be their second. Yeah, and they look at Shanji looking for the angle. Landre anticipates him. 
Vertex just getting onto the tower though. This is going to be a tier one taken for NIP. You'd expect, but the arrow lands, and it's an opportunity oh. for Yagao to knock it out of the park. Aki on the front lines trying to protect his team. Shanji just ain't tanky enough, and Rookie doesn't have their damage, or does he? Finds one. Ruler gets out with his life, and Shanji's still going strong somehow. The shield comes on through, but Flandre dives into the back line. Aki gets the knockup. Can they finish the Void Beast? The answer's no. Huge play by JDG, missing an Egal, being the ones to start it off, and Ruler and Flandre, the ones to benefit picking up those kills, and now Drake up once again. This is going to be JDG's. And it felt so good for NIP when they got that pick on Kanavi. It felt like the fight was over before it began. But JDG find the angle. What an arrow onto Fotic to start it off. Joel's here, Aki's here, but they're too late to contest. We did have the IE just finished, so at least now items being a bit equalized. Yeah. I think for NIP, a lot of it's going to be about starting things off the way they did last time, starting off with a bit of a pick yourself is Rookie's intercepted. Oh, no. Oh, what a blunder. Goes straight into the middle of everyone. Rookie, no way out of this one. As Flandre finishes the job trying to deny the siege, but actually just gifts over a kill. And it's small things Not like that. Either JDG posturing aggressively. Yagao does have his TP available. It looks like he is going to go for the long walk instead as Flandre tries to get into this brush. And I, I would think NIP should have a good idea. Go for the hook. Knock back. Another great arrow comes through. Photic denied at the start of the fight. Fate's called to save. Missing now is the front line being pushed away on the bottom side by NIP. Wall comes out from Rookie, but it kind of just separates Duo. Knockups coming on through. And Kanavi's caught out. The reset for Photic as Flandre keeps himself alive using his own ultimate. But three down. And JDG sent packing. Missing next on the chopping block. And the rocket finds his mark. Ruler doesn't get slowed. The cleanse actually misused there and he will survive the play NIP look to the purple worm exactly now NIP gonna be able to move over to that Baron rookie not even caring that rulers here also gets a mid lane turret off of it huge swing for NIP my goodness this game has been chaotic it's been close and it has been everything like, I all right you actually kind of leave Joa and Shanji sectioned off to still lose that 3v3, but right there from Rookie and Raveled Earth and the seismic shove gives Fotic the ability to get the reset. Oh boy. We don't have a moment here. JDG grab themselves a Drake and NIP aren't happy about it. I don't think they can force a fight though. If Dwarves hook goes wide, it's really hard for NIP to get into the action. I mean, hell, the, the two times we've we successfully seen them find action are actually off seismic shoves, and it was about to be a third. Bit of a jump scare there for Ruler, but Holds his nerve, keeps himself alive there. There's the Siege now in the mid lane. And you've got a Jinx on your squad. You've got a Talia to deny potential engages. Feels good to try and Siege. Aki calls. Kanavi goes in onto Fotik. He's knocked into the action and executed by Ruler. Beautiful combo from JDG and Dwo. He's going to feel the brunt on the end of the play. It's 10 on the board for JDG. JDG with the coordination to make the play possible. <laughs> it just looks so easy. You got following in Kanavi. Happening in the bottom left hand of our screen. Looks like someone on NIB being brought down. Flandre, he's That's got some Flandre. tunnels. Can he get out of this one? We've seen Rek'Sai get out of crazier situations. Shanji tried to chase it and <laughs> will finish the job. So a kill there, but what do they lose elsewhere on the map? Because Yaga onto a tier two. And the whole squad in that quadrant, so. If anyone from NIP tried to answer, there was opportunities it's, for a pick there, but it looks like NIP realized, hey, we can't contest this. We got our kill by. For JDG, it, it's three drakes already, and it's looking like it. Soul. NIP not contesting. Rocket comes through, and Ruler's Spell Shield just blocks it entirely. That is a cloud soul for JDG. This is Still like disappointment to me for either team being in this lower bracket game because of those two opponents. And also, whoever wins this one, they've got a mountain to climb later in the bracket. We'll return to that later because everyone, once again, as has been customary this game, posturing for a fight. Arrow goes through onto Dwol this time as Rookie. I don't know if he misused his Sonya's there, but Dwol's just going to go down for it. A bit of a weird one from NIP, and JDG are more than happy to capitalize on it. There's one pick. It's Flandre not quite... I wonder if that wall was meant to block him. Yeah, and now... Aki gets vision. They are just burning through this. Are they going to go for a 50-50? He gets in the pit. 
He doesn't get the smite though. Roller finding a kill and the Baron. Beautifully done. JDG now with everything. Yeah, JDG clearly not feeling too too weird about Aki being able to get in the pit when they do have the Callista with the Ren, but them not taking any damage, even in the contest, means that they just get to, to pick up with the waves and start pushing forward in a 5v4. This is McLean. Another arrow hits from missing, and Yaga follows it up once again. This combo is too damn clean from JDG. A beautiful setup and a beautiful follow up. JDG have rinsed NIP. I mean, their synergy is just so on point. They're working together so well to find those picks. And now NIP, I mean, going, going down in the first game, backs against the wall because of it. My lord, JDG, they had their way to mix this morning, didn't they? What a game to For some of the best highlights from the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs matchup between JDG and NIP. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.